Allison, you are a historian who studied this kind of thing and the technology metaphors that we use. Uh, has there been a change in thinking about how scientists and how the public at large has approached the thinking about memory sort of based on the technologies that we're familiar with? It's interesting that I think for as long as we've got records for how people represent memory, there's been a relationship between thinking about recording devices and thinking about how our brains and minds um, store our past experiences. So from the ancient idea of the wax tablet, you draw on the wax tablet and um, the wax can soften over time and, and the information is, is, gets blurred. Um, through photography, the idea that maybe our minds take photographs of our experiences, there's been a metaphorical, but maybe more complex than a straightforward metaphorical relationship between thinking about external uh, information storage and internal um, storage of our life experience. And I think that one of the things that's striking in the 20th century is you can see as new devices came, were, were developed and became widespread, there was a kind of circular relationship between how people thought about them and memory. So um, once you have devices like the wire recording and the tape recorder and the motion picture film, for the first time you've got devices that can store information and include the passage of time. And claims about memory began to be made that we had rec recording devices that had a playback feature in them so that we could, in principle, have um, flashbacks, term from cinema, early cinema, um, for re-experiencing the past in real time, um, a, a claim that is hard to find before the existence of those recording devices. So at each stage, when you get these new devices, people thought, that's how our memories work. Or other people said, only the dummies think that's how our memories work. Um, our memories don't work anything like that, but that's a good example of what not to think. So is the computer now the dominant uh, metaphor that we use for thinking about memory? I, I'm not sure I'd be the person to answer that. I, I suspect possibly not, but uh, I expected when I was doing my research that computers would have been the, um, that there would have been analogies made to computers in the 50s and 60s and and 70s, and they weren't. The devices that people made reference to were um, tape recorders and eventually to personal computers. So it was a, a personal device on which you could store a file. Um, and something I'm very curious about is whether the new digital technologies have, have um, helped people think about memories in a more constructive way, because we no longer take, say, pictures that are the same unless we do something really do a lot of work to change them. You know, the old photography, you had to work hard to change that. But now you take your, your pictures and you can alter them before anybody else sees them. And you know, there's, it's a much more dynamic sense of how you store information.